The Battle of Matakito was fought in the Arauco War on April 30, 1557, between the Spanish forces of the governor, Francisco de Villagra, and Mapuche headed by their Toki Lotaro. It was a dawn surprise attack on Lotaro's fortified camp between a wooded mountain and the shore of the Matakito River. Overview in early 1557, following the defeat and retreat of Lotaro after the Battle of Pedroa, Francisco de Villagra felt strong enough to gather a strong force of soldiers and march south to aid the remaining cities against the Mapuche besetting them. Discovering that the city of Santiago was now relatively unprotected, Lotaro evaded the army of Villagra, letting them pass to the south. He soon marched again toward Santiago gathering a new army of 6,000 men joined by allies under Panagualgo bringing it to 10,000 men. However once the army reached the banks of the Mataquito River, Lotaro's treatment of the local Indians in a manner similar to that of the Spaniards had created many enemies, and after a quarrel with his ally over this mistreatment, most of the allies and many of the Mapuche refused to follow him. He moved over a league up river from Laura and established himself in a fortified camp in a place called Matakito. Villagra became aware that the location of the camp had been betrayed by local Indians previously abused by Lotaro. Villagra sent word to Juan Godine near Santiago to meet him as he hurriedly returned from the south with seventy men. The Spanish forces met at a location in the province of Gualemo three leagues from Lotaro camp, without Lotaro being warned by the local Indians. The unified force of Francisco de Villagra and Juan Godine came to 120 men, with 57 horsemen including Pedro Marino de Lobera, five Arcabuzeros and more than 400 Yanacuna, made a surprise night march over the hills of Khan, to the one overlooking Lotaro's camp, on the shore of the Matakito River. Villagra sent a body of Spanish infantry including Alonso López de la Iigada with arquebus or swords and shields into the carousel under Gabriel de Villagra. At dawn Villagra made his surprise attack on the camp. The infantry burst into the fortress while Juan Godine and Villagra led the charge of the cavalry down the hill against the fortress with their Indian allies in advance. In the beginning of the battle they killed Lotaro, coming out of the doorway of his ruca. When the Spaniards shouted Lotaro was dead, the Allied warriors from Atata, Nubal and Renogolin fled any way they could, leaving only Lotaro's Mapuche fighting a six-hour battle, putting up a stubborn resistance despite the death of their leader. At the end of the battle Lotaro and from 250 to 500 Mapuche were killed while the Spaniards lost Juan de Villagra and over half of their Yanacona killed or wounded along with many of the Spaniards' horses. Lotaro. S head was then taken and displayed in the main plaza of Santiago. Topic References. Topic. Topic Sources. Topic. Of these sources, Pedro Marino de Lobera and Alonso Lopez de la Iigada participated in the battle. While Geronimo de Vivar and Alonso de Gongora Marmoleo were both living in Chile at the time, Vivar was in Santiago compiling his history, Marmoleo was in the south. Diego de Rosales wrote about 100 years after the battle, Vicente Carvalho y Goyanesh over 200 years later. Geronimo de Vivar, Crónica y Relación Copiosa y Verdadera de los Reinos de Chile Chronicle and Abundant and True Story of the Kingdoms of Chile A-R-T-E-H-I-S-T-O-R-I-A -E Revista Digital, Crónicas de América online in Spanish Capitulo CXXIX que trata de como sabido por el general Francisco de Villagran la llegada de Lotaro a los terminos de esta ciudad y de lo que en el ajizo de Gongora Marmoleo, Alonso, Historia de todas las cosas que han asesido en el reino de Chile y de los que lo han gobernado History of all the things that have happened in the Kingdom of Chile and of those who have governed it 1536 University of Chile, Document Collections in Complete Texts, Chronicles online in Spanish 22 de como vino de el audiencia de lo reyes provedo Villagra por corregidor de todo el reino, y de lo que hizo 
José Toribio Medina, Colección de Documentos Inéditos para la Historia de Chile, Tomos V7, IV, Información de Senidos de Alonso López de la Iigada, Vecino de la Ciudad de Santiago de Chile, Archivo de Indias, Patronato, 1 to 5 minus 34 18, Vols, 6 to 7, published by IMPR, Y Encuadernacido Barcelona, V.8 to 30 by IMPR. Elzaviriana, 1901. José Toribio Medina, Colección de Documentos Inéditos para la Historia de Chile, Tomo 15, Valdivia, y sus Compañeros 8, Imprenta Elzaviriana, Santiago, 1898. I. Probanza de los Méritos y Senidos del General Juan Jufre en el Descubrimiento y Poblacion de las Provincias de Chile, Archivo de Indias, Patronato, 1-5-32-16, pg. 5 to 216. Marino de Lobera, Pedro, Cronica del Reino de Chile, Escrita por el Capitán Pedro Marino de Lobera. Reducido a nuevo método y estilo por el Padre Bartolomé de Escobar. Edición digital a partir de Cronicas del Reino de Chile Madrid, Atlas, 1960, pp. 227-562, Biblioteca de Autores Españoles, 569-575, Biblioteca Virtual Miguel de Cervantes online in Spanish. Capitulo LV, de la batalla que el general Francisco de Villagran y los capitanes Alonso de Escobar y Juan Gudines dieron a Lotaro, donde perdió la vida, en el Valle de Matiquito. Diego de Rosales. Historia General del Reino de Chile. Flandes Indiano, three tomos. Valparaiso 1877-1878. Historia General de El Reino de Chile, Flandes Indiano Vol. 2 Capitulo X Carvalho y Goyanesh, Vicente, Descripción Histórica Geografía del Reino de Chile, Tomo I, Description Historical Geography of the Kingdom of Chile, Vol. 1, Colección de Historiadores de Chile y Documentos Relativos a la Historia Nacional, Tomo 8, Imprenta de la Libraria del Mercurio de Aym Echeverria, Morondo Num, 38, Santiago, 1878. Tomo I, Capitulo 33. Se resuelve Lotaro a rendir la ciudad de Santiago, Copilican repita el asedio de la Imperial y Valdivia, Villagra va a su socorro, Nuer Lotaro en su expedición. External links Google Map of Quebrada Trisau use search words. Cerro Chiripilco. Location and photos of Cerro Chiripilco, a site believed to be the location of the camp and of the battle.